Roku's released a lot of new features to find movies, TV shows, and the channels that you love and want to watch. I want to do a quick run through of the left guide right here and show you all the new tabs that they have to offer. So, of course, the home section is very similar. You'll find your various channels that you've already added from the channel store and you can launch them right there. Next on the list is what to watch. So this is for your TV shows, your movies, and more. Kind of a general recommendation system, and you can scroll through them, finding a lot of content from some various channel partners, right? But I think what's really important here is this is your save list. So when you go on your Roku and you say, you know what? I do want to watch Sistas, but I don't want to watch it right now. What I can do is add it to my save list so I can kind of like bookmark it. And so here it is, right? So it's that simple. When you find the content that you want to watch, but you want to watch it for later, use your save list and it's located right under what to watch. Next on the list, we've got featured free. So this is all free content that we can enjoy. So movies, TV shows, etc. Again, if we do find a piece of content, you can just go ahead and click on it and see the channel that offers it. Now, live TV is where we've got our linear channels, the ones that you can just turn on and really never turn off. So we've got a variety of channels to be had here, and all of them are live. But in addition to that, there is a regular live TV guide that you can check on out. If you've ever used cable TV or satellite TV, this grid should look very similar to you. And we can go through this in a whole nother video because there's a lot of channels to be had here that you can watch. All right, so here we've got the buzz. It's kind of like a bunch of short form content, trailers and little previews of movies, TV shows that you can watch from various channel providers and content providers. So the thing about this that's kind of fun is you click on it, you can watch it and play it in full screen, or you can actually watch the rest of the content on the channel itself. You can save it, you can like it, you can view the page, and you can also follow content like this. Next up, we've got sports. This is a great way to find your sporting events in a very easy and streamlined manner. So we've got the various genres and sports right here. So if we click on pro football, you can see when the next NFL games are. Click on one of them. You can see what channel they're playing on. So search has become a lot more visual. You can see that here, are my recent searches and there are some recommendations below that so if i just type in some letters here ah so christmas movies are appearing you know some recommendations there there's some tv shows starting with c and some channels starting with c as well same idea here just click on one of them so this is a tv show criminal minds you can see the seasons and what channel they're on the store section has been completely revamped. No longer is there a separate movies and TV and channel store. They've merged them all together, and you can see that's what we've got right here. So here are some featured channels. Underneath that, we've got our navigation. So this is where we can search for content and channels. And then we've got our channel store itself, the movie store and the TV store, as well as a game store. So below that, though, we've got recommendations for various channels. You see the channel here and then their content that they offer. So if we click on channels, here are some feature channels. Underneath that, we've got our movie channels, our kid family channels, podcasting and music, you know, all that stuff. So whatever it is that we want, if we want some sport channels, click on that. Here's the list of sport channels available on your Roku. Movies is kind of similar in that it's all these new movies that are hitting your Roku device right now. You go through the list, you find your movie that you want, and then you add it to your save list. Same idea with TV shows. 
And then, of course, the game store. My offers is just a, a quick way to understand that, oh, there are some deals that you can get every now and then, you know, that Roku will be offering you specifically. And there is settings, so this hasn't changed too much, where, you know, you'll find settings on your Roku device. Well, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you found it very helpful. If you did, smack the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming soon.